Hi, welcome to my skills test. Have you ever wondered how scientists and engineers see invisible electronic signals? Meet the CRO, the cathode ray oscilloscope, your window into the world of voltage waves. In this video, let's explore how it works, what's inside, and how it's used in real-world electronics. Cathode ray oscilloscope fades in below the acronym CRO. ACRO is an instrument that lets us see electrical signals. It plots voltage over time, like a graph. This tool helps you understand how circuits behave, signal strength, shape, timing, and more. You will find CROs in labs, medical equipment, and even car diagnostic systems. In short, ACRO helps us see what electricity is doing, live right on screen. Let's explore the key components of a cathode ray oscilloscope. ACRO consists of six main blocks, each performing a unique role. The CRT is the heart of the CRO. It shoots electrons onto a fluorescent screen to create visible light. The vertical amplifier boosts the input signal so it can move the electron beam vertically. The time base generator creates a sawtooth wave that controls the horizontal movement of the beam. This signal passes through the horizontal amplifier to control left to right beam motion. The trigger circuit synchronizes the sweep with the signal for a stable waveform. The power supply distributes high and low voltages to the CRO components. Together, these blocks convert electrical signals into visible waveforms for analysis. Now let's understand how a cathode ray oscilloscope actually works. At the core of ACRO is the cathode ray tube, CRT. It starts with an electron gun that emits a beam of electrons. This beam travels through a vacuum and is directed towards the screen. Two sets of electrostatic deflection plates, vertical and horizontal, control the movement of this beam. The vertical deflection plates move the beam up and down based on the input signal. The horizontal deflection plates move the beam left to right based on the time base or sweep signal. When these two motions combine, the beam traces the shape of the waveform on the screen, giving you a real-time display of the electrical signal. The screen is coated with a fluorescent material. When the electron beam strikes it, it glows, creating a visible trace. This is what you see as a waveform. The process is repeated many times per second, so the display appears steady to the human eye. In short, the CRO translates an electrical signal into a visual waveform by using electron beams, deflection plates, and a fluorescent screen, a brilliant combination of physics and engineering. Number 1. Power switch. Purpose. Turns the function generator on or off. Operation. Push button switch activates the internal circuitry. Location. Bottom left corner. Number 2. Frequency range selector. Range hertz. Purpose. Sets the frequency range multiplier. Ranges. Typically from 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz or more. Usage. Combine with fine frequency dial to set precise output frequency. Number 3. Waveform selector. Purpose. Choose the type of waveform output. Options are square wave, sine wave, triangular wave and sawtooth. Usage. Switch between waveforms depending on the application. Number 4. Main output terminal, 600 ohms. Purpose delivers the selected waveform signal to external devices. Impedance, 600 ohms suitable for general test setups. Location, center bottom. Number 5. VCO FM input, 15 volts max. Purpose, allows external control of output frequency using voltage controlled operation. Label, VCO FM input. Max input voltage, 15 volts. Number 6. TTL output. Purpose outputs a TTL level, transistor transistor logic, square wave. Use case useful for digital circuit testing where TTL signals are needed. Number 7. Amplitude control knob. Purpose adjusts the peak to peak amplitude of the output waveform. Usage helps prevent overloading the circuit or match signal level needs. Number 8. DC offset control knob. 
purpose adds a DC voltage shift to the output waveform. Use case, useful when testing amplifier biasing or shifting signal baseline. Number 9. Fine frequency adjustment. Purpose, precisely sets the frequency of the output signal within the selected range. Combined with, range selector for fine tuning. Dial marking, typically from 1 to 10, representing a multiplier. Number 10. Power indicator LED. Purpose, shows when the function generator is powered on. Color, usually red or green. Location, next to the power button. Audio frequency generator. Number 1. Frequency dial, top center. Label, frequency dial. Function, selects the exact frequency output of the generator. Range, marked from 0 to 60, multiplied by the selected range factor. Use, set desired output frequency in combination with the range switch. Example, if the dial is at 6 and the range is set to 100 times, the output frequency is 600 Hz. Number 2. Range switch, lower left. Label, range. Options, 10 times, 100 times, 1K times, 10K times, 70K times. Function, multiplies the frequency dial value to determine the actual output frequency. Use, switch between wide frequency bands efficiently. Number 3. Amplitude control, right side knob. Label, amplitude control. Function, adjusts the output signal's voltage amplitude, volume level for speakers or input level for devices. Use, avoid overloading circuits or match signal level with receiving equipment. Number 4. Power switch, top right. Label, on. Function, turns the generator on or off. Type, simple toggle switch. Number 5. Output terminals, bottom center. Label, 600 ohms, impedance matched. Terminals, G ground terminal. Output signal terminals connects signal to CRO, amplifier or circuit. Use, plug probes or BNC cables here for output signal testing. The cathode ray oscilloscope isn't just for the lab. It has real-world applications across many fields. Electronics testing in engineering labs, CROS help visualize signal waveforms to debug and test electronic circuits. Medical field, CROS are used in devices like ECG and EEG machines to monitor heart and brain activity. Communication systems, they play a crucial role in analyzing audio, radio, and television signals. Radar and navigation. CROS are used in military and aviation systems to detect and interpret radar signals. Automobile diagnostics. Mechanics use them to analyze ignition systems and electronic control units, ECUs. Wherever there's an electronic signal, the CRO helps you see it in action. Today, digital storage oscilloscopes, DSOs, have taken over much of CRO's role, but understanding a CRO is still vital for building strong fundamentals in electronics. And that wraps up our journey into the world of the cathode ray oscilloscope. From signal amplification to waveform visualization, the CRO remains an essential tool in electronics and diagnostics. Whether you are an aspiring technician, a student, or a curious learner, mastering the CRO will give you a clear edge in understanding electronic systems. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your classmates, and subscribe to our channel for more technical content. Stay curious and keep experimenting. Until next time.